Okay, we can also talk about second order derivatives. Okay, the calculus that you learnt at school, you would calculate second derivatives and, and, and do things with them. So, you know, things like um, calculating maximums and minimums of functions and things like that. Yes, there is analogues for these partial derivatives. Okay, and you can see here, for sec so called second order partial derivatives, we have either two subscripts or these squares going on. Now, this sort of notation, um, uh, it, the, the, the notation for second order partial derivatives is, it, it changes. It's, it's not, it's not um, uh, universally just one thing, okay? So you can see here, by this we mean, okay, we take df dx, and then we take the partial derivative of that again, okay? So that's basically, it's just a derivative of a derivative. Now, one thing that's important to point out, there are four second order partial derivatives. And the two in the middle are known as mixed, mixed partials, because you can see you've got x's and y's here and here. All right? Now, uh, a reasonable question is, does it matter which way I differentiate? If I sort of switch the x's and y's around here, does it, does it really matter? If I, see, here I've differentiated with respect to x first and then y. Here it's first with y, then x. Okay, now the order, in general, is important. Okay, but there are, um, th th we're going to see a very important um, exception in, in a little while. But let's calculate some, some second order derivatives and see how we go. All right. So, to calculate the second order derivatives, the first thing we do is calculate the first order. Okay, so f sub x is going to be, remember, y is a constant, differentiate normally with respect to x. For df dy, or f sub y, imagine x is a constant and differentiate normally with respect to y. So this is going to become x cubed. So let's calculate our second order partials. So we, to get f sub xx, we go up here, differentiate with respect to x while keeping y as a constant. So this is going to become 6xy. To calculate f sub x sub y, by that we mean the following. So we go up to f sub x and calculate the partial derivative with respect to y. So this is going to become 3x squared. f sub y sub x, and by that I mean this. So we go up here, and we differentiate with respect to x. And finally, f sub y sub y, go up to here, differentiate partially with respect to y. So that's going to give us 0. Okay, so we've quickly calculated the four partial, second order partial derivatives and we're asked to notice something about the mixed partials. Well, there's one mixed partial and here's the other one. We see that the mixed partials are equal. Now, in general, that's not that's not true. 